Hi there, sign of Aquarius. This is Kim here to do your reading. This reading is going to be a uh, next 48 hour reading for you. I hope you're doing really good today. I'm lighting some Palo Santo. So if you want this uh, energy blessing for your place too, all you have to do is like accept it at this time. <clears throat> what are the signs? There you go. <laughs> Cherubim helping us out. Um, the, this is the deck that we're using, the Enchanted for Hoxa. The Enchanted for Hoxa. For Hoxa. Yeah. <laughs> if you need a private reading, my address, uh, for, or my web address, <laughs> it's in the description box below. Click on that. Alright, so opening up to... Aquarius is spirit team, angels, ancestors, spirit guides. <clears throat> Let's get some messages for Aquarius. All right, let's just start shuffling and let's see, see what wants to come out for you, Aquarius. Okay, messages. Just one. Three of air, goodness. Okay. Three of air. <sighs> Sadness. Um, possibly a third party situation that doesn't really have to be but the challenge to it is the six air in the reverse uh, it's it's a feeling of I should have known better <clears throat> I should have known better um, should have listened to my intuition like that that kind of energy so all together it's the nine of swords and that that energy can be really um, daunting because we can our uh, thoughts can lead towards the negative with that energy whoops all right. So we got the heart of the matter. We have the past energy, have the goals and destiny, and the future. <clears throat> That's good. Five of water in the reverse. The strength card is here at the heart of the matter. Having confidence. Tell me a little bit more. Let's get some cards for the rest of this reading here, spirit. how you feel the eight of water in the reverse whoa in the environment <clears throat> ten of fire a lot of effort here Hope or fear. What's the hope or fear? Page of water. Something's getting a, a brand new start, a makeover. It could be a crush. Like it's um, so hoping that there's something new. What is the outcome here? So <clears throat> the outcome. What is the outcome for Aquarius, please? Okay, let's see. <clears throat> On the three of earth, the high priestess and the hanged man. I think it goes, um, well, okay, so it might be about focusing on cooperation here and building, laying down the groundwork. There's something that your high priestess energy, the intuition is telling you, it has to do with seeing things from a different perspective as far as how things are working out. In the past energy, you have the um, ace of air. <clears throat> In the reverse, so something 
wasn't clear or maybe you weren't told like the whole story something like that not being told the whole story tell me about the ace of air the death card I'm needing closure closure maybe there's change transformation maybe with this um strength card because of it coming here it could be a scorpio or leo energy this ace of air air signs libra gemini aquarius <clears throat> So some kind of ending or transition here. But you feel like you don't know the whole story on this transformation. <clears throat> this is associated with needing to listen to your intuition. There's some type of heartache here. I don't know what it's from, but let's get a clarifying card for the three of air. What is the heartache about? Again, with the six of, about somebody leaving or somebody going away, um, a brand new chapter, uh, well begun in a, in an easier time or less stormy time, but there's something to do with more effort. And so a lack of effort can be what the three of air is actually even standing for. <clears throat> So more effort going into a new direction is going to bring you better results, I feel like. I feel like that is exactly what that's saying. And so focus on going towards the new chapter. Focus on putting something in the past. At the heart of the matter, there's the strength and the confidence. Possibly to leave a situation behind because how you're feeling is the eight of water in the reverse. And this could be like a fear of leaving something behind. It can be. Tell me more about um, strength. Mm. Ace of Pentacle in the reverse. Feeling like somebody missed out on an opportunity. Uh, waiting on news. Always waiting on some kind of news. <clears throat> Having to do something on your own or alone or feeling alone. Needing more information. Needing to maybe have the courage to go out and get some more education, higher education, or something like that. Why are you feeling a fear of leaving what is basically not working out? I feel like that the eight of water, fear of leaving. Because of the journey, um, because of the journey, just pure and simple, like, because you know that uh, something is going to be... For you, difficult. Someone wants to move back home with this because the Ten of Fire is like a completion. In the environment, there's a completion of something that it came to a head. Like you put all that you can in it, and now there's a new journey. It's something that you've envisioned for yourself. It's, it is going to require letting go of fear, either for somebody returning on a journey or a little bit of both. You going on a journey, somebody coming back, or a fear of leaving. Temperance is saying that your angels are helping this situation. May have an earth energy here too. With temperance, things are getting balanced and healed. All of this waiting for news. <sighs> Ten of swords on the bottom. All right, goals and destiny. I have the sun in reverse. Okay. So goal and destiny will be to bring change, um, to light up what is in the shadows, to light up uh, what has been hidden, and to be actually happy again. So this has to do with your happiness and bringing happiness in. Focus and determination are really important when you get the Knight of Swords. There is change, but it's also associated with the speed of something. <clears throat> So I feel like something is going to be revealed like in a speedy way. What do you have for the future energy? The five of water reverse. Okay, that, that has to do with like letting go of uh, holding on to either an idea that the past had it better or that something was better in the past or letting go of how it could have been because all that is is focusing on uh, what you don't have. <clears throat> that's not the way to get to what you do want. 
So tell me more about that clinging to the past energy or releasing it. Mm -hmm. Keep yourself busy. Um, keeping yourself busy. Maybe not even feeling like you've taken a break or a rest. There's still healing that needs to be done. Make sure you are taking time out for yourself to heal. <clears throat> the Knight of Pentacles here. Look, look, it's connecting something that needs to be healed that you're not really thinking about, but it's connecting it with an offer that honestly is coming in. You can depend on it, but it's very slow. And you're looking out for this offer. You're looking out for this offer. It might feel better to you. It might feel better to you. Not not um, like Radiohead, no surprises. <laughs> Tell me about the page of water. Page of water, something's getting a makeover. Maybe what you do for work is getting a makeover. Possibly because of this eight of pentacles and how it's coming out. It's just going to require that you make a decision that you've possibly been postponing for a little while. There is a peaceful resolution that comes from this. And something good comes out of putting in the effort in your work. Something really good. Slow and steady, but it, it is going to win the race. So getting a different perspective on how you feel, on your intuition, and how you feel about the things you've accomplished on your own. Page of Swords is in the reverse, so I would be very weary about believing just anything that you hear. Because there may be some things out there that's misinformation. We already know that. But this is saying there's there's an energy that's sure to miscommunicate something. Um, so be careful. Check, fact check yourself. Um, unhealthy spying too. That can be here too. There may be a change in that. There's the page of cups, so something brand new, just like another page of water right here, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. This page brings in good news that something is about to improve. It will feel like it's the beginning of something new because of the amount that it improves. Tell me about the hangman, about waiting, the waiting period. Justice. Waiting for things to get balanced out. Possibly even legal, but it does have to do with partnerships with who you're working with. <laughs> Libra, Capricorn, possibly. Taurus, <sighs> <Towards> Virgo. <laughs> so Libra here, really strong, but this is about balancing the scales and waiting for the justice, <clears throat> the truth, the clarity about your partnerships too. The devil is coming in here because there needs to be plans. I need to avoid uh, the pitfalls of temptation or addictions or vices. Um, maybe getting a different view on the things that can keep us uh, restricted or tied down. Unmotivated, the magician in reverse. Yeah, that can be the influence of some kind of addiction is to, un to unmotivate a person. The Ten of Pentacles on the bottom, underlying issue. So underlying is that this is going to be really successful for you. Staying away, steering clear from your um, temptations and your vices. I think you're going to be just fine. Um, and you're feeling like either revisiting a situation with that Eight of Cups or uh, rethinking a fear of leaving. Okay. Also, Rabbit. It could be about... a fertility concern or issue and there could be too much concern with sexual matters with the rabbit <laughs> okay money or property through an inheritance winning or windfall with the boat uh, weeping willow family sorrow dragon beware of self delusion and apple temptation will test you so yeah just be aware of what you're putting into your body too and if something is good for you or not um it may be there really to just kind of distort the reality or this devilish energy, you know? All right, so I have younger woman dealing with relationship with the younger woman. That might have to do with the peaceful resolution also. Rose, romance is in the air. Tiger, doing something risky, taking a chance. Tulip, great passion. 
arrow you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life and camel persevere and you'll overcome all problems it's what i've got for you aquarius sending you love and light like share subscribe and come back bye bye